and welcome to the show, and welcome to a rather lovely day here on Forza Horizon 4. You might notice I am in appeal. You see, while we were, while I was busy doing a stream, people waiting were messing around and figured out a rather unusual glitch, shall we say, that you can do with not just appeal, but with many cars. Uh, the first time has not worked quite as intended. Oh, that was disappointing. Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, that, that was supposed to send us a lot further towards the ocean. The first person didn't quite work. Um, you can absolutely eviscerate cars off of this particular ramp on Bambara Castle. And I mean, you can send cars absolutely miles off of there. We have the limo guard. I don't ask. I don't know. Um, yeah, you go absolutely miles off of this particular one. We're, we've got everyone lined up with different cars that we're going to be testing. We're just going to go again uh, by virtue of the first one was not particularly great. The Ewan's got the idea. So, use an Iron Knight. You... Hunt the back of the peel. Why am I just going into the floor? That's not quite what they were supposed to do. It's a bit better. Uh, it's just going down. I don't know why. Uh, basically, you go about 300 miles an hour when you hit. Yes, we can get cars to 300 miles an hour, launching them off of the top of the castle. We're not quite sure. and we've, We're trying to formulate what causes some cars to work because it's a really random selection of cars. But uh, it's something to do with like the tiny lip on the castle. Hit them hard enough that the Iron Knight is the best vehicle for punting. Unimog does work, and I ha we have had odd, weird occurrences go on. But uh, yeah, basically, very, very large truck combined with generally small, light, and uh, low vehicles uh, will do the trick, and they go absolutely miles. But there are, you know, odd ones out, things like the Aerial Nomad. Oh! Ah, oh, the Shelby it doesn't always work. There are the occasional... Oh, the Nomad worked. Jesus Christ, the Nomad worked. I thought it was going to be a little bit more time between them. The Nomad's gone swimming. Uh, yeah, well, they're really they're really ramping this one up. That one's lagged and gone. Oh, it did actually go down. Um, yeah, sometimes you just get them smacking into the floor. There goes the Iron Knight. Oh, the Assetta didn't work. I've crashed my drone. Hold on. So sadly, the drone does make this a smidge more awkward to get back up because we have to loop our way around. Uh, so filming-wise, it is a touch more difficult. Uh, here we go. Can we get... In fact, it's actually really difficult to film. Oh, God, we'll go for two at once. This is iffy. Goodbye! <laughs> Shirocco is gone. Off to the ocean. Now, I wish I had a proper zoom. There is no good way to film... The Assetta is very stuck. There is really no good way to film this because it is... Just, oh, a little bit of lag for the Jag got the better of it. Because uh, the cars go so fast, the drone can't keep up. You saw the speedo on the peel. It really does get to, oh, we've got some laggy collisions going on. That's a shame. Um, oh, there goes, the, I bet that's the time to blow it. That thing was working earlier and now it's not. Um, the cars go so fast, the drone can't keep up. Without a zoom, we can't really follow them properly. Oh, guys, the two, the two in one is a risky play. And hey, they're both off, and it will be the Shelby that goes further, although they both made it to the ocean. Now, the ocean was the initial goal for getting cars. It's just turned out that as time has gone on, uh, that's quite easy. When you get the right vehicles, they go, go to the ocean quite easily. Off with your bath. Uh, no, that didn't want to work. The BAC Mono <laughs> did. The Mono is to the ocean, just a little speck in the distance, spiralling wildly out of control. Oh, quickly catch the cage. Oh, no, the cage doesn't want to, doesn't, oh, that's, don't try, you can't do two cars at once. Believe me, you're not going to see that. To, oh, that's, <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's not worked, has it? We've tried two car. we've tried like launching two vehicles in the same collision. Hey, the, <laughs> the truck fell off. That's <laughs> the first. <laughs> We have, funnily enough, messed around with this glitch for a little while. I haven't seen the truck fall off the platform yet. Eh, there goes the Nomad. Some vehicles work backwards. We don't really know why. Um, hey, that thing, I didn't even see what it was. I think it was a Ferrari 166. It's got a really, really long bloody way. Yeah, some vehicles only work being fired backwards. Some vehicles work both ways. Uh, the party bus, I'm not sure that's going to work. The mono hasn't. Oh, the alpha. I think there's a little bit of truck collisions. Um... But yeah, if you park like two cars nose to tail and you try and do it, it never ever works. Um, we don't know 
what makes a vehicle work for this and what doesn't make a vehicle work for this. The Alpha GTA, I would say, is perhaps not going to work. The police truck bounced in front of our chrome gold friend. I mean, these are some impressive truck paints we have got going on. Trucks, don't screw things up between the pair of you. And bing! Oh, disappointing. Okay, we're going to get in on the action. It's it's one of these. This is one of those stupid glitches. Okay, I know this is not exactly the highest brow entertainment I have. I, well, it's not the most in-depth video I have ever made. This, let's be honest. Um, but it's just one of those that you, sp <laughs> you just have fun with, and it's surprising how easy it is to get distracted doing this for three quarters of an hour just finding out what random vehicles actually work there are a couple of other places this is the best place for launching cars but there are actually a couple of other places that uh, this works quite well or this can work with as well uh, we're gonna see Oy! oh it's a little bit laggy a little bit laggy from the party bus uh, in all of that i think this is going to try and get the corvette in to working we're going to have a go we're going to nick the space from ollie uh, with the polaris buggy because i do know that uh, this thing is amazing this is one of the one of the best vehicles for peel punting. It's what started doing it. Oh, we're not going to go... Damn it, you let me down, Polaris. Might have to go backwards with this. Uh, Reliant, I don't think, is going to punt. So it started off being a game about punting peels, because that was what they, they realised pinged off of here. And then it devolved... It devolved? Evolved? Maybe a little bit of both. Into a game where... Why does the buggy not want to go? This was working amazingly before. The Reliance um, having problems. I know the Polaris is good. You can guarantee you the Polaris. Well, I can guarantee you it should be good. God damn it. You're going to let me down now, buggy, aren't you? Uh, well, <laughs> that's not gone well, has it now? <laughs> good try, leather cab. Didn't work, did it? All right, let's see if Ewan can do it. Third time's the charm, hey? There we go. That's about 250 miles an hour for the Polaris. The best thing about the Polaris is it spins wildly in the air. It, it goes completely berserk. Longbow's gone bouncing around towards us with the Jeep. Not a bad, not a bad, not as good as the Polaris, but uh, <laughs> not a bad shot for the Jeep. Are we going to see any more? Uh, oh, Scotty's gone. I can't even look up high enough to figure out where that Ferrari's got. That's going to get reset. If you get launched far enough, it's a badge of honour, but if you manage to get yourself launched far enough, you will be reset. Like, you go too, too deep into the water, that's gone. Oh, that's actually gone quite straight for Gliska's car. I think that's still in the Shelby Monaco thing. Uh, Ewan's punted somebody else. I don't even know where that one's gone. Might have just fallen off. Uh, you know, we have seen a few vehicles. Sometimes they just sort of like fall over the edge and get reset. Sometimes lag can't decide what the hell's going on with said vehicles. It's... I mean, it's a silly little unusual glitch, essentially, that we have got... Uh, that we've got going on here. Let's just jump back into drone mode and see what we've got. It's not clever, but these kind of things are are good fun. Leather cap is lining up with the truck. Yeah, be careful with, like, running across there. The Jeep, not quite. I like, I approve of the livery. Nicely done, Longbow. Oh, I missed that. I was busy distract. Oh, where'd it go? Did it just dribble over the edge? I think it might have just fallen over the edge. I was distracted by a foul race livery. It's easy thing to do. No. The Jeeps are weird. Like, I have a CJ5 that's worked once. It worked once. The first time it was attempted, it was amazing. It spiralled through the air, randomly, wildly out of control. Uh, it was brilliant, and then we can never get it to do it again. It just doesn't seem to want to launch. I would say Scotty's Ferrari works... Oh. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. Uh, Scotty's Ferrari seems to work relatively well. Well, when it when it goes, it goes miles. But it doesn't seem to always... Oh, we're going to go for another twofer. Amazing. Oh, hey! And both went off. Scotty to the ocean easily. The pink Jeep to the ocean fairly easily as well. They'll both get reset. Oh, no, the Jeep might drive out of that one. Nicely done. What have we got up next? Whoop! That thing's lagged. That thing's not gone. What about the cadet? Somewhere over there, there is a big old truck. Uh, incoming! Nope. <laughs> it's just squished a cadet. Okay, we're going to have a backwards. We still don't know why sometimes backwards launches cars and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, we, we don't know, basically. We're going to say the birdcage probably doesn't work. Lisk has got a Datsun. Let's see if we can get the cadet to launch off of the castle. Yep. I, oh, no. Maybe. I, yeah, well, Gliska has gone. The, the Datsun worked. I don't know. Oh, the cadet's upside down. How did that happen? <laughs> I have no idea how any of that happened. But apparently, apparently it did. Oh, God, we're going to have two trucks in one go. CRX was not ready, really. The Nomad is gone. Off towards the ocean with you. That's a lot of rolls. That's a good number of rolls, Danger Man. Uh, I saw that, Ollie. You tried to jump up on top of the car. It doesn't work. I've tried that as well. Uh, CRX, yeah, that's definitely worked. 
Longbows all the way to the sea? What about that thing? I don't actually know what it's called. I'm going to say probably not. Ollie, you can't get up there. That's twice now. Yes, you think you're not on camera, but you are. Uh, <laughs> we're going to jump back in because it's just funny. Uh, the Mono has been highly recommended as a car to have a go with. The Mono's an interesting one. So we have been looking, and we might still give it a try at some point, at making a vague attempt at a car darts game with this. The problem is... Funnily enough, vehicles spiral wildly out of control pretty much all the time because what we are doing is very, very silly. I mean, it's, it's basically breaking the game entirely here. Um, the peel spirals randomly wildly out of control. Uh, the mono is generally pretty good, and if it goes, it goes really straight. I mean, that is like arrow, arrow straight towards the ocean. That did 280 miles. I'm a bit of a soggy mono. I am a lime green submarine. I wow. I am full submarino, BAC, uh, oh, we're stuck. I say we're stuck, we're just in a lot of water. Uh, yeah, the mono actually flies very, very well. The problem is it goes a bit, almost a bit too fast. You have to hit the cars with a lot of force, uh, otherwise this doesn't always work, basically. Uh, again, it's a bit strange. Who would have thought it? Launching cars off of a castle glitch. There goes Gliska with a hot rod. Something, I don't know. <laughs> Off to the ocean with that one, and oh, this could be a good. This could be a good viewing platform for it. Oh, and the Lego F40 did work. Lego F40 didn't go as far. Longbow's gone miles with something small and hatchbacky. That made it to the ocean. Oh, bugger! Am I stuck on the hill? Oh, the hill was fun, but we have problems. Little problems. Well, wheel spin related problems. The Polaris buggy is one of my favourites for randomly spiralling. Like the Polaris buggy just likes to roll. It rolls a lot when it gets hit. Uh, whereas the BAC Mono is uh, a lot more kind of arrow straight. Have we got... Right, we were going to sneak we're gonna sneak ourselves in. We're doing a little bit of queue jumping because I'm the camera car. Base. Oh, Gliska was in the Atomic Punk. I'm kind of surprised that worked, but there we go. We're going to have Lotus off and... Oh, Mono not off. Damn it, I was hoping to chase the Lotus across the sky. God damn it. Uh, hello. Hello, Ewan. <laughs> Just mind the, the frosty gold truck. Here we go. Atomic Punk is... Off. Not quite as high. Not quite as high for the Punk. But it is going to make it to the ocean. Um, Eagle Speedster. I mean, that's a very nice car to be crashing into. Oh, God. Don't crash into the... Oh, truck. Oh, we did 310 that time. But we have not got... It's not as, as, not as dead straight and as controlled and composed as the first time, that one. That was a long way into the ocean. Uh, although, we, that does mean we get reset kind of closer to the punting site. Uh, <laughs> hey, that works actually pretty well, whatever that was. I think that was a 2CV. If I was Ollie driving, it's going to be a 2CV. Uh, that's, that's a decent, decent distance from the Citroen. I've got one more vehicle that uh, I'm going to have a go with. Again, this is another one that uh, we found out doing this that I have been recommended to get in. We've actually seen it already go, but it is... Like, it's, it's it's fun watching the cars go. You could just sit there for hours watching cars get launched. I mean, well, like Ken anyway. It's weird and entertaining. But uh, this one in particular is one to have a go with. Now, it does have a tune. I don't know if it works quite as well as standard, but this is like a wheelie tune for the for the BMW Assetta. And this little ball of madness. Um, okay, so first of all, it does that. Let's face it, that's not exactly whoop, all that uncommon. Uh, can we wheelie up? I've got a wheelie up on the back of the KTM, but no. Uh, we'll let the Morris get flung off of the arena. Now, this is one of the cars... Oh, it hasn't got flung. It has just got stuck. This is one of the vehicles that only seems to work, or works the best, works the most consistently backwards. Uh, so we are going to go for the backwards approach, uh, which is kind of terrifying. Oh, boing! Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> no, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work. Can confirm. That was just pain. The Lego Ferrari... Uh, also got a bit unhappy in all of that. Hold on. No, I'm not in position. Okay. We are ready. R2-D2 wants to go to the ocean. As quickly as possible, please. If you care. Oh, that was a bit of a clip as well. Um, <laughs> like it's not an exact science, okay? We've tried. We can't figure out the exact science. So we're just making the most of the silliness. Why is the... It, ouch. Again, with the eating of R2-D2. Why is the Assetta not going? This thing does work. Again, we did it testing this beforehand, and it was soaring through the air. It should be working. There we go! Many speeds! <laughs> and splash down. I can't stop this in time. 
Uh, to be fair, I would probably be better off just going... Oh, wow. Amazing. Thank you for that one game. Just reset me there, why don't you? Ah, Scotty made it to the ocean, apparently, as well. In the Ferrari. Uh, <laughs> this set is ridiculous. I mean, we are going... 300 plus. I think... I think the highest someone said is about 320. They've had a car launched off of this... Off of this platform. 320 miles an hour. Admittedly, we are using a truck. And there would be a lot of puking because you're going for about 0 to 300 in a millisecond or two. Oh, they're going for the two foot. The two foot didn't work there, did it? Um, the two foot really, really did not did not work. I might have... Well, we'll let Blakey... We'll let Blakey go. Oh, got stuck on a bit of fence. We'll let these guys go and uh, we will have one more fire. Because I want to kind of want to see that 2CV go again. Not sure about the crossbar. I don't know if that actually works. Um... We will... Oh, not really into that, though. Kind of want to watch the 2CV fly. Oh, 2CV didn't fly. Uh, what will the assessor... Is there the cat going to be able to punt us again? No, we just flung sideways. I think maybe I'm parked a little too close to the wrong side of that. Hold on. Let's just shuffle this in here. Uh, I've been doing a terrible job of queuing. Oh, that 2CV looks fun. <laughs> here we go. Another cat has not got it... Thing being a pain now. It's all typical. Typical. When we come to film, that's when it's a pain. Way Oh! Wait, uh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, it's safe to say that fun times have been had. Apparently, my Isetta doesn't want it. I just wanted one final, one final big grand crash for us in the Isetta. You know what? That <laughs> will do. <laughs> It's not a big crane crash, but we slipped over here. Yeah, I, I mean, I very much recommend you have a go with this. It's hilarious. It's stupid. We can't really figure out why why it happens. and it's, it's something to do with the lip and all the cars trying to occupy space. And the easiest thing for the game to do is just fling the little car off the edge of the platform. But it is hilarious fun and therefore uh, highly worth doing. Highly worth doing. Uh, we've got fully over Citroen launching his setters, and there we go. Well, there we go. <laughs> that is going to be it for this for this video. As I say, go give this a try yourself. See what cars you can launch. See how fast you can get some cars to be fired off of the top of Bamborough Castle. Who needs cannons when instead we can literally launch cars at any invading ships? Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time. A goodbye.